Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a quick updated build to my Oathkeeper. Now that we're wrapping up mod 21, I didn't want to go into too much detail and update a full guide to the Oathkeeper as things are subject to change and I don't want to release information that would be of no use to you. So instead, I want to quickly go over the changes I've made since my last guide. The first thing to point out is that I've gone for a more healer focused build rather than 100% group focused. My weapon set has changed back to Lionheart for now, and for my neck and belt set, I've decided to go with an off-meta setup. I've tested this greater belt of wisdom mixed with the newer, higher item level pieces and artifacts. This testing has proven to be a slight increase in healing versus the other sets like Tiamat and Star set. The greater belt of wisdom has 4 plus wisdom on it and an item level of 1010, making it actually really viable to run with whatever other pieces you want for purely building stats and not even seeking set bonuses. The higher item level yet again has proven to be worth it in the long run for healing. For the Atwills, I still run Divine Fulmination as the ranged gameplay can be very useful for the Paladin to stay out of dangerous situations and allows for some of my ranged gear bonuses to proc giving me added stats. For the encounters, I run Sacred Weapon, Divine Shelter, and Circle of Divinity primarily. But in mobs, it would be very beneficial to switch out Circle of Divinity for Burning Light to help with stuns because we don't have high magnitude heals in the Paladin. Stunning enemies is very advantageous to allow us more time to top off the help of other players. And it also helps your tank in pulling the threat when needed and of course giving your DPS time to get out if they need to as well. For dailies, I run Shield of Faith primarily for its increase in incoming healing and decrease in incoming damage. Lay on Hands is great for single target healing and trials, and Sanctuary is decent, but has its pros and cons as it sticks you in place, but the pro is being that it does a lot of healing. For the class features, I am running Aura of Restoration and Timely Intervention. Another option is running Composure for the increase in the Divinity region. Timely Intervention is really nice in my opinion as it provides an added heal when players are at low health, rather than a shield. This gives you an easier time topping off their health before shielding again. For companions, not much has changed. It's still good to go for debuff companions like Spine Devil, or you can go for the Radiant buff of the Lion, the damage buff that Dritz gives, or if you're wanting to focus more on your overall stats, you of course could use the Golden Bullet Pup. Just a small tip for picking companions, the stalwart Golden Lion does stack, so you can never go wrong picking up a Lion for group play. For mount combat powers, you've got options. You can go with Pegasus, which I personally love. You can also go with the Swarm if the tank isn't using it. Mythic Golden Lion is another option, as well as the T-Rex mount. For mob play, you can always use the OG Lion for more shields, but it would take away your own shield, so just be wise when using it. Also, the Celestial Wings mount power has a good knockback ability, helping you in keeping your friends safe and buying time for the tank to get in there and pull the threat. And that's about it. This is my 5 minute Oathkeeper Paladin update. If anyone has further questions, let me know. With Mod 22 coming out, I wouldn't go crazy with updates, but it wouldn't hurt you to just keep going for gear pieces that you've been seeking. Just don't go buying any enchants as that's where the big rework is for next mod and I wouldn't want you wasting anything in the process. Thanks everyone for your support. I can't wait to do a big guide for the update for Mod 22, but hopefully this little update will do for now. Until next time guys, see you later.